Hey guys, here is some info on how to use reading logs in Bookopolis. It's a great alternative to the old paper reading logs. So first I'll show you as a student, you come to login student, sign in, and then you can either go directly to the reading log page and start entering a reading log. Now you'll see there's a few fields that have an asterisk marked by them. Those are required. You can't hit the save button unless you have those fields. So all the books that are on your Reading It Now shelf in Bookopolis will automatically be here. But maybe I'm reading something that I haven't added to that field yet. So let's see, what am I reading here? Mira in the Present Tense, which is a great new book. So I'm going to put it on my Reading It Now shelf. And then I can go here to Update Reading Log. So then when I come back to Add an Entry, I see Mira in the present tense here. Uh, if I want, I can add the genre of book. This is a realistic fiction. I don't have to, but if your class is tracking different books by genre, this is a great thing. If, again, if you have the level, if you're trying to track by level and that's important for your reading instruction, you could add that. But you do have to put a date in there. And then I will put the number of minutes and the number of pages that I read. And then I have an option if I want to write a comment. So maybe my teacher has asked me to talk about how I feel about this book, um, what I thought about my reading. So I might say, I really enjoyed the part where Mira visits with her grandmother. <clears throat> and then save that. So I can see this, my running tally here as a student. If I want to do a check and say, hey, how much have I, uh, let's see, how much have I read so far this month? I can do a quick tally of that. I think I might need to read a little bit more. So this is the way as a student, I also see my minutes tracked over here I can add to my reading log. Now as a teacher, I can come in. And this is my teacher account for that student. And when I come in as a teacher, I can go to monitor student work under reading logs. And for a given date range, I can put a date range in here and see all the detailed results of my class and see if they've written any comments and comment back on those comments. But I can also see just a quick summary. Okay, what have my kids been reading this week? How much rather have they been reading this week? And so this is a great report where we just added minutes and pages. So you can actually see, okay, this account read 25 minutes, 25 pages. This helps me track. Are they kind of on track? Oh, look, you know, people aren't putting their weekend logging in or, uh, you know, Kari didn't read on Friday. Let's go check in about that. But look, wow, she read 70 minutes that day. So this is your kind of quick snapshot. And again, if you want more detailed results, you can go here to detailed results. So we got here again by going to monitor student work and then clicking on reading log. Same way that you can then see your detail on book reviews or book reports um, or what messages your kids are sending. So like always, uh, let me know if you have any questions. You can always hit the feedback button and send a note that comes straight to me, the mayor of Bookopolis. And we're always open to other feedback in helping us help you get kids reading. Have a great day.